scrolling through the pictures on her phone. Yeah, so it was just kind of surreal. Incites a lot of different feelings, emotions Plattsburgh's Lindsay Tolman says she's still working through. Um, I'm just thankful that nobody got physically hurt uh, because it was right next to the gas tank. Fire from a torched couch spread to her car parked nearby. It's been difficult coping with the event happening and how much it's personally affected me. Plattsburgh police say these two men, 26-year-old Dylan Wood and 29-year-old Dustin Lemire, intentionally lit the couch on fire downtown in early March. We searched through hours of uh, video footage from many different businesses downtown, and we were able to identify the two suspects. This is what happens downtown. People who live nearby captured the fire on video, too. I woke up in the middle of the night to a lot of noise and lights and um, the smell. I went down the stairs of my apartment building and I automatically looked at the license plate just to kind of, um, you know, make sure that this wasn't just a bad dream. She says she rushed back upstairs to let other people know they had to get out. Aside from the lights and the smells, I just remember hearing get back, it might explode. Wood and Lemire now facing two felony arson charges as well as an additional misdemeanor. Tolman, who is temporarily borrowing a car from a family member, says she feels for them both. It's tough, but difficult things happen to everyone at different times. So yeah, just all we can do is try our best to cope with it and move forward. Coleman says the experience really shook her, that she's struggling with it, that she's starting to feel better. But what's difficult for her, and I want to show you this at home, that fire was so intense, it's actually burned this print into the sidewalk. She lives nearby, and she says it's difficult to walk by every day. Reporting in Plattsburgh, Leon Denyer, NBC5 News. Official